I'm Hannah. I'm a tutor at Sky Academy. Um, we are in the topic of algebra, MSA4 for the year 12 standard math um, curriculum. And we are looking at nonlinear relationships. This is our fourth video in this topic. And we're looking at quadratic models. So in our previous video, number three, we looked at quadratic functions. And a quadratic model is just a practical situation or a real life application of the quadratic function. And we know the quadratic function or parabola to be in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And a most simple parabola or a common one is where y equals um, x squared. So let's have a look at an example of a real life quadratic model. So here we have the area of a rectangular garden of length x and it's given by the parabola a equals 6x minus x squared. So it says draw the graph of a equals 6x minus x squared using the table of um, values. So before we can draw the graph, we need to fill in the table they've given us. So I'm gonna go ahead and where my value for x is, I'm gonna sub it for the values they've given us. So I'll do an example uh, for the first one. a equals six times whatever our x value is, so I'm gonna do zero, minus zero squared. And if you put that into your calculator, or if you just know, anything times zero is just zero. And now I'm going to do the same, but instead of having um, zero as my x, I'm now gonna have one as my x, and that's gonna give me the value of five, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of those values. So two would give you eight, three would give you nine, four would give you eight, five would give you five, and six would give you zero. So once again, we can check that this does make a parabola um, as it needs to have a symmetrical um, ordered pairs to make a symmetrical curve, which is our parabola. And so we have eight and eight, five and five, zero and zero. So we can see that it makes a pattern. Um, and so now we can go ahead and graph this. So because it's a model, I'm just going to use the top um, corner quadrant um, because I have no negative values when I do a model. And so I'm just going to use the positive values. So this would be my X and this would be my A for area. Um, I have to have six along my X value. So I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five and six. And then along my A, I have to go up to uh, Let's say, let's just say 10. And I'm going to go up by twos. 10, 8, 6, 4, and 2. 10, 8, 6, 4, and 2. Now I've got my scale. I can um, put these points onto my um, number plane. So 0 is 0. 1 is 5, 2 is 8, 3 is 9, might be there, 4 is 8 or so, 5 would be 5, and 6 would be 0. And so now I can connect these dots. and it should create a parabola. So that's question A, done. B says, use the graph to estimate the area of the garden when the length of the garden is 4.5. So if we have a look, um, 4.5 for the length, um, 
which is x, so 4.5 would be around here. When you go up, and then across, it should give us a value of about seven. Um, so seven for B, seven meters squared because it's area. Um, but we can check that answer if we wanted to um, and sub it in into our formula. So although it says use the graph to estimate, we can check that our graph is correct um, by doing subbing X for 4.5 times 4.5 minus 4.5 squared. And if you put that in your calculator, you should get the answer 6.75 meters squared. So that's roughly uh, seven meters squared. So we're just going to leave our answer of seven meters. And we can know that our graph is pretty accurate um, because we got a close enough answer. Now it says, what is the maximum area of the garden? And if you remember, the maximum turning point would be the highest point of our parabola. So wherever the maximum turning point, which would be here, wherever that is, that would be the maximum area of the garden or the highest point of our parabola on the Y axis. And so that maximum area of the garden area is on the y-axis and that would be nine. D, what is the garden length in order to have the maximum area? So when um, A equals nine, X will equal three. And we can also check that on our table of values when a equals nine, x will equal three. So that's a real life application of a quadratic function. Um, and we have drawn a quadratic model to model that function.